What I want to point out here is that those who are investing in Tesla, this is a 2030 thing. And I want to show you guys something, just doing some paper math, that how cheap Tesla is now compared to what it would be in 2030. So let's look at the bear market for Tesla, 15 million vehicles by 2030. So let's do 15 million vehicles. How much do you think per vehicle are going to be sold at that um, volume, Oracle? I would say at that time, I think I have it at like 35,000 because by then I would assume that they're going to have significantly lower. So 35,000 is where I have it. 35,000. That is about $525 billion in just revenue. Let's give it a 20% margin. 20% is conservative, right? Yep. Okay, so 20% margin, that's about $105 billion in profits. Let's round that down to $100 billion, all right? So let's keep that number in mind, $100 billion. Now let's look at the FSD because by 2030, FSD should be solved. I mean, I'm under the impression that by 2030, FSD should be mainly solved. Let's say at the bear case, we have total vehicles of 55.8, let's say 55 million vehicles on the road. Let's say half of them opt in for the FSD. Okay, that's about 27.5 million vehicles that would opt in. Now, let's say each of them um, do monthly subscription base of 199 a month. Now, I know by 2030, it's probably going to be 299 or 399, but let's just, you know, go forward with the information, information that we have now. That's about 5.5 billion in revenue in just a single month. If you multiply that by 12 to make it yearly, that's 66, almost $66 billion in just revenue alone. Profits. Now, a lot of institutes are saying that, you know, um, Tesla FSD will have a, by 2030, will have a profit margin of 60% because it's just a software. Yeah. Do you agree with that, Oracle? Oh, I, I do because, every, you know, look at Apple. Anything that's software-based right now, you know, it could even be higher than 60. I think 60 is a conservative number to go with for sure. Sheesh. Wow. Okay. Well, let's, let's say 50% to be even more conservative. Yes. All right. So 50%. That's $33 billion in just FSD. Let's add them both together. Let's say it was 100, that's 100 million, 100 billion. That's $132 billion in profits. What multiple would you give Tesla by 2030, Oracle? Oh, man, on a very conservative level, we can go with a 30. 30, okay, a 30 PE or multiple. That's well, so multi now, now here it's really tough because in my, so if we're going strictly off of this, let's, assuming... We can just say, assuming that there is no Optimus, we can say a 20. Yes. No okay. Optimus, Let's we go. can go with a 20 as conservative. Let's go. Let's go 130 billion. And there's no energy. I'm not doing any energy here as well. It's yep. just the yep. FSD. So and just this, I would go with, yeah, go with a 20. 20 PE. That's a market cap of $2.6 trillion. Now, obviously, if you add the energy and everything else on top of that, we're going to get a whole lot more. But just think about it. The market cap right now is what? Almost 400 billion. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a 7x. That's a 7x from now to 2030 if you just take an FSD at a conservative rate and vehicles at a bearish rate. So, I mean, why is this such a one-week investment? I don't understand. <laughs> exactly. 